so the time has come uh, this year again we should be ready to face uh, dengue viral infection which we know that during this period every year we have increase in number of uh, uh, this dengue infections which we know that it's a viral infection mosquito born and one in four uh, infection person may become symptomatic he may develop a proper clinical illness only 5% of patients they get very sick and we have to be ready and prepared for this uh, these patients to you know where uh, it can be a life threatening situation i am dr r s mishra i am a director in the department of internal medicine in max hospital saket new uh, delhi i am going to talk about uh, dengue fever uh, today we should be ready to uh, you know face this problem because we uh, face it every year now almost in last uh you can say almost two decades we have been facing it and each year there uh, fluctuating number of patient we face but we know that this disease can be a very simple one but sometimes it is very deadly especially the younger population and sometimes the older uh, population who have more uh, comorbidities we know that it's a viral infection which is spread by uh, aedes aegypti mosquito and uh, uh, one in four uh, Uh, people who get this infection may get a clinical illness and out of these patients 5% may get really very sick to uh, sick enough to get into the icu and may become a, you know this may be a life threatening situation for them the main thing what we should remember is that the most important thing is to prevent the mosquito bite and that is what uh, in the community we should always uh, remember because there is no specific treatment for this and uh, in general population we all should remember how to recognize that uh, what are the symptoms of uh, dengue infection mainly you know most specific feature of this infection is that the headache and body ache joint pains mainly the pain behind uh, the eyes is very very specific and uh, fever can be from very mild to a very high uh, fever usually these illness they it lasts for only 4 to 5 uh, days and these symptoms may disappear but there's something there's something called the uh, the warning signs in, in dengue fever these are like during the time when the fever starts going the patient may develop severe pain abdomen repeated vomitings uh, headache listlessness vomitings there may be some bleeding from the nose mouth or maybe uh, blood in the uh, vomiting these are the w- warning signs and the patient who develop these symptoms they should not stay home they should immediately contact uh, their doctor or they should go to the hospital where they definitely need to get investigated and be uh, treated the vaccines which we know in for the, as far as the prevention is concerned there is a vaccine which was most talk about and the us fda has approved one vaccine but still it's not available in our country which is basically meant for the children young children from 9 year to 16 years but uh, though it is uh, on the pipeline it may come to india at, at the moment it is not available so mainly we have to concentrate on uh, the prevention of uh, uh, dengue uh, infection i would like to uh, quote a case here was a young uh, student who came to our emergency with fever of 5 days with the uh, vomitus in their blood and night before that he was having severe pain abdomen and he did not come to the hospital after investigation he was found to have dengue fever it's called dengue shock syndrome which is a very uh, uh, deadly uh, uh, dengue fever he was admitted in icu we made lot of efforts we had to treat him very aggressively and within 2 days we uh, we controlled his condition and within 5 days he was discharged so uh, i would like to say that uh, do not delay in coming to the hospital if they anybody has any signs of uh, uh, severe dengue fever they should not stay home they should contact their uh, physician and come to the hospital so that they are treated early and and the lives are saved subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates